Hi, this is Daniel DiTuro. Some diet plans use the fear of cancer from chemicals like acrylamide to convince people to give up starchy foods and grains. In this video, I'll look at what is acrylamide, how is it formed, does it increase your risk for cancer, and how to reduce acrylamide in your diet. First, what is dietary acrylamide and how is it formed? Acrylamide usually forms when the amino acid asparagine combines with natural or added sugars. This requires high temperatures above 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Baking, frying, and roasting can produce acrylamide. The Maillard reaction is the chemical reaction that forms acrylamide. It's the reaction that gives browned foods their distinct flavor. Acrylamide occurs mainly in starchy plant foods, grains, and coffee. Meat, poultry, fish, and dairy have little or no acrylamide. For example, baked bread has some acrylamide. Toasting the bread increases the level of acrylamide. Boiled potatoes have low levels of acrylamide. Frying increases the levels. The more you brown the potatoes, the higher the acrylamide level. Does dietary acrylamide increase your risk for cancer? Acrylamide occurs in the environment as well as in foods. In 2010, the US EPA recommended limiting daily acrylamide exposure to 0.002 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. A person weighing 130 pounds should limit exposure to 117 micrograms a day. When it comes to foods, you won't find acrylamide in the Nutrition Facts label. Studies show that one ounce of potato chips has about 30 micrograms, while one ounce of fried potatoes has about 5 micrograms. Acrylamide is not limited to only starchy foods and grains. Canned California-style black olives are higher in acrylamide than green olives. This may be the result of the high heat used in the canning process. Roasted nuts are higher in acrylamide than unroasted nuts. Even if you avoid acrylamide in your diet, cigarette smoke is a major source. Should you eliminate all high acrylamide foods from your diet? Currently there are no studies directly linking dietary acrylamide to cancer in humans. It is classified as a probable human carcinogen. If you're concerned about acrylamide in your diet, you can reduce your exposure without giving up foods you love. Ironically, the healthier sweet potato fries some diets recommend have higher levels of acrylamide than fried white potatoes. Thin fried potatoes that have more surface area are higher in acrylamide than thick cut fried potatoes. Lightly roasted coffee beans are higher in acrylamide than dark roasted beans. Dark toasted bread has higher levels than lightly toasted bread. Acrylamide is found in higher levels in baked, fried, or roasted starchy foods and grains. With the exception of coffee, the longer foods are exposed to high temperatures, the higher the levels. High doses have caused cancer in lab animals, but there are no published studies linking acrylamide to cancer in humans. Meat, poultry, fish, and dairy have little or no acrylamide. There is no evidence linking baked, fried, and roasted starchy foods to an increased risk of cancer or the need to eliminate starchy foods from your diet to avoid acrylamide. There is no need to drink only dark roasted coffee or teas to eliminate roasted nuts or California-style canned black olives, and that foods are the only source of acrylamide. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.